Hello teachers, I'm so glad that you have joined in. Today is a tutorial on my digital drag and drop birthday activity on Google Slides for kids in your classroom. So believe it or not, I've already had three birthday parties and it's only been two and a half weeks of instruction. So they are really coming in strong with the birthday parties and the kids are excited to tell you. So of course I had to go scramble and try to figure out what and how can I celebrate parties online with my learners? So I really couldn't find anything that had like a drag and drop activity with it. So I had to create it. What I did do is I created it in a manner where it was similar to my calendar Google Slides activity, which you can find on my TPT page and um, to my student of the month. That way I don't have to spend a lot of time trying to recreate the wheel and explain every detail of it. They're already used to those two types of activities. They're not the same, but they're similar. So because they're similar, it is really easy for them to catch on. So let's get started. I created two scenes. I created a scene for my boy learners and my girl learners. So this is the scene for the girl learners. And it's you can change the title to a different child's name, but it says it's Kayla's birthday. And then I created a boy scene for my um, boys. And I just threw in some dinosaur and some stars, but I try to use the same type of birthday slides so that no one is saying, oh, how come they have this one and I don't have this one? It's just keep it fair or keep it the same, keep it the same. The birthday scenes will be completed as a whole group activity in your lesson plan, meaning you will do it and you will celebrate their birthday together as a group, as a class. And you will say, oh, it's Kayla's birthday. Let's go ahead and listen to the birthday song. So you'll listen to the Cuckoo Kangaroo birthday song. And then you'll listen to the traditional birthday song um, on Go Noodle. And you will incorporate this in your lesson plan. So you will do the how to draw a unicorn cake together. You can incorporate it on your art day, on whatever day that is, if their birthday falls on your art day. Or you can alter your art day and say, oh, we're going to do art day on Wednesday instead of Friday because it's Kayla's birthday. Or you could just have two art days. And you will sing the song again together as a class without Go Noodle. So it's exciting. They love it. Okay, same thing for the boys. If it's a boy, you'll do the ex exact same steps um, and you can incorporate a art project. Um, I usually don't, I didn't put an art project in this scene. I would just find one for the boys and we would still do an art project together because there's so many, there's so many. Okay, after that, they will get the slides to take home with their scene. So you wouldn't send home the activity or you wouldn't assign the activity with them you will make a copy and send it to them with just their scene in it if it's the girl you would just send the activity or assign the activity to the birthday person with their scene in it and if it's a boy same thing what they will do at home is they will answer all of the slides okay and drag and drop then they will bring it back the very next day and they will share out share out how their birthday went. They will bring it back after their birthday if their birthday is celebrated on the weekend. So I am, let's say six years old, let's just say that. They will go to the next slide. My birthday month is, uh, let's just say August since it's so close. And again, these slides are similar to some of my other activities. So it's very easy, especially my calendar. I try to make things very easy, very easy. My favorite cake is yum, yum, yum. Let's just say vanilla. My favorite ice cream is, let's just say strawberry. And they will get down on this portion of the slide and they will pick three things, three top things that they did for their birthday. I keep it general. You are not married to what is inside of these boxes. You can edit. You can edit according to your class. Um, I try to keep it general just to make sure that almost 100% they will be able to choose three things, okay, that they did on their birthday. So you can say on my birthday, I was happy. 
I was with my family and I got a gift. You want to pick things where you can ensure that they can choose three tabs to slide over. Okay, you don't want to be too detailed, especially with everybody teaching online right now. And then they will come to their last slide and yay, this is their favorite slide because they get a surprise gift from the teacher. And what is that surprise gift? They will slide the gift to the left. So just practicing their left and right. And there you are. You will change out the Bitmoji. They get a free ebook from Barnes and Nobles, The Good Dinosaur, and they will click and then they will see that free gift to download. I try to choose gifts where it's similar to something that they like outside of school so they can really be excited. And they'll say, oh, I've seen that movie, teacher. And now I can download and read the book. And you want to enhance reading and literacy. There are lots of e-gifts that you can put in here. You can put a coloring page. You can link a coloring page. Um, you can link a puzzle. You can link a virtual field trip. I like the ebooks. Now um, you find out what kind of um, devices they have at home and you try to find ebooks that will match their device. If you purchase this slides or if you're watching this tutorial because you purchased it off of TPT, then these last four slides are scenes that you can edit to truly customize it because if you purchase it, the only thing that you can customize is pretty much taking out the Bitmoji and changing the name and changing the videos if you like. You're not married to these videos, but other than that, you don't want the kids moving around the background. So as you see, they cannot move anything around that you do not want them to move, even here, okay? So that's why I have added the editable scenes. If you don't like the design or you want to change a few things out to customize it more to your liking, then everything on here is customizable. Okay. You can get rid of the whole thing if you like. Same thing here. Same thing here. I just gave you one of these scenes, but it is the exact same scene. I just changed the color coding. Okay. It's the same thing. Change the titles and the color coding. Okay, and it's okay if you change it because you can just copy and paste the movable pieces and it will paste exactly where you copied it from. So I'm hoping that this tutorial helped you and I'm hoping that you have some fabulous birthdays because I know some of the teachers were asking me, how can I do a birthday party? I know you're doing birthday parties. So how can I do a birthday party as well? And believe it or not, there's lots of e e-gifts online. You don't have to worry about giving out tangible gifts. E-gifts are just fine, especially music and songs that they like to hear and learning songs. Until next time, please make sure that you're liking, subscribing, following. Follow our Dill Purple Geniuses website at dillpurplegeniuses.com, thedilllearningchannel.org. Until next time, goodbye.